Many people are currently fascinated by the capabilities of HDR, but tools for production, test and calibration of HDR are still rare or very expensive. This video will show you an easy way of adding HDR metadata to any HDMI source such as pattern generators or post-production tools. The essential tool you'll see here is the AVTOP controller which will interface to the HD Fury Integral. The AVTOP controller comes with a set of files. These files include motion picture material still frames from various cameras, as well as a test pattern for basic HDR adjustment. We included 10,000 nit and 1,000 nit mastering examples. In addition, we have examples for AVI info frame and HDR info frame presets. Those presets can be used within AVTOP controller. Also included a set of HDR video files. These video files were made with the still frames that you've seen before and using SEI Edit. The program directory contains the app itself and all the files that are needed in order to run the application. Copy all files to a folder of your choice and start AVTOP controller. Most important for HDR is the HDR tab. We suggest to use HDR frame always active and without audio since you'll get the best, most stable results. Our EOTF selection in AVTOP controller includes all important standards. Most important, the SEMT2084, which is our selection for high dynamic range. Type 1 or 2 for static metadata helps to solve compatibility issues and some devices work better with 1, some devices work better with type 2. Our primary selection includes 2020 or P3 as standards, even 709 is included and we don't have to enter all the numbers manually. Of course we can if we want to. White point can be adjusted as well and after we've done our changes, we need to generate the info frame. Transmit it and you'll hopefully see changes in the image. Alternatively, we can load previously stored presets. Similar important as the HDR info frame is the AVI info frame. The AVI info frame will help the TV to switch over to the white color gamut mode and reproduce 2020 correctly. Make sure the color format is matching your input signal, otherwise you'll see a blank picture. Generate the info frame and update the info frame to see the effect in the image. Most TVs will indicate the setting is correct by showing up a message like this. When we look at the changes using the test pattern, we'll see that the light output and the color saturation is changing dramatically. In this situation, the content was mastered for 10,000 nits. If we now apply HDR with 1,000 nits, we'll see clipped areas in the image. Look at the tower. In order to correctly see the HDR image, we need to apply 10,000 nit and enable the tone mapping of the TV. This is how it looks like after it. Same situation, a little bit closer. Now with 1000 nit setting, clipping, and switching over to 10,000 nit, enabling tone mapping of the TV. Same situation with a different scene. SDR to HDR, we get more contrast, but the highlights are blown out. Now switching from 1000 nits to 10,000 nits again, and we'll see that the highlights are getting more detailed. Again, the AVTOP controller together with the HD Fury Integral will allow you to influence all the important HDR parameters necessary for post-production, calibration and measurements or even experiments. Have fun and see you next time.